we see a lot of the, the sort of highlights from guys like Ross and, and Rufus and Ollie from their, their under 20s games where they're, they're pulling off these amazing plays and the fans, rightly so, are, are very excited about them. But what goes on behind the scenes at Scots, and they're obviously eager to, to learn, but just give us an insight to the, the work they're putting in at the minute as well. Yeah, there's a, it's, as I said, it's such a um, uh, unique situation where, you know, um, the boys haven't had, uh, wouldn't have played for, well, almost up to uh, a year, I think, in, in some cases for some of the boys. Um, and then, you know, uh, months for, for a lot of the other boys. So, um, you know, to be training, uh, you know, as well as the, the team does um, you know, for the, the boys that are selected, you know, to play each week and then, you know, to not be playing each week and, um, you know, just training every week. It's, it's a, as I said, it's a uh, interesting challenge compared to, you know, boys would be be able to play club rugby or, or whatever else, you know, outside of uh, being selected in the Warrior squad. So the amount of work that, you know, they're continuing to just put in, you know, off the field, um, you know, a lot of the, the fans and that might not be able to see stuff, but um, you know, the coaches are obviously, you know, are quite uh, excited about, about that, which is why the boys are, you know, being thrust straight in there to give uh, the opportunity that they deserve. So, um, yeah, it's a, a whole lot of work that, you know, they're putting in. And again, you know, um, the challenge of not having games to play every other week. Um, and then, again, you know, uh, things like not having your family and that, you know, to be there to be a part of those occasions. Um, there's a lot that uh, they're doing in and around the scenes that is, you know, translated into what everyone's, uh, you know, seeing in their performances um, uh, on the field in the match day uh, squad. So uh, big credit to those boys for, you know, <laughs> the challenge of coming into the professional um, environment and then the added, cha added challenge of, you know, everything that COVID's presenting and being away from your family and everything else. So um, there's a whole lot of stuff that they're doing, uh, you know, that uh, is impressing a lot of, uh, you know, the senior boys and, and the coaches, obviously. So. Um, yeah, that's uh, it's pretty awesome to see, uh, you know, with the with those young boys and um, as I said, you know, the exuberance that they're bringing that energy, but um, also driving those standards as well. Yeah. Are they making you feel like one of the senior players, one of the older boys, despite the fact? <laughs> we went on uh, um, one of the way trips and um, we sat at the airport uh, last season with the young Jamie Doby, and yeah, mate, it makes you feel old. <laughs> <laughs> 